What's up, people? Thanks for tuning in to yet another exciting episode of When Will He Stop Hoarding Things? Details to follow. I don't know what I would do. Genuinely, thanks for still watching my videos and watching this video. I'm gonna just show a bunch of stuff. I don't know. I have no plan. Uh, I My last video kind of like this was July 31st, I think. So I had my birthday on August 19th. I turned 45. And yeah, what else? I don't know. I got the Pfizer vaccine. Uh, two times, the double, double jabbage, uh, had the second one on, <clears throat> I don't know, a few days ago. The first one, nothing happened. I think I just used the excuse to take a nap, but I just wanted to take a nap. I don't think it necessarily had anything to do with the thing. It could have, I don't know. But other than that, nothing. The second one, also nothing, but I, I genuinely think maybe it made me stupider. Just a stupid like, just to, one example, I have changed diapers at least more than a thousand times now, being a father of two children. And uh, I changed my our baby's diaper, as I do many times a day. <laughs> and apparently, I don't remember this, but my I believe my wife, she has no reason to lie about this. Apparently, I put both baby legs in one leg hole of the diaper, so the other leg hole was vacant. And then I pulled it up and I put her clothes on over that and, and just like everything's cool. But like, <laughs> it's not cool because her, you know, everything's kind of hanging out. You know, if you can imagine a diaper and everything's in, I mean, there's nothing to stop the flow, you know. I I still can't believe that I did that. I, I don't necessarily believe it. I think maybe there was a ghost. I don't <laughs> Because that's just too stupid. But that was the day after or the day that I got my vaccination. The second one. So second shot. I don't know. As far as the politics of that, like I definitely understand both sides of it. I just think when either side goes to extremes, it's too much. You know, like some people are like, if you don't get the vaccine, you're a murderer. And then people are like, if you get the vaccine, you're a complete idiot. Those people, I don't have time for that. But yeah. Anyway, let's not get into politics, right? Uh, let's talk about video games. And let's start with a real something. I, I can't remember English. Here is... <laughs> this This is from Cyber Gadget. I don't know why this is starting, but whatever. This thing, I thought, oh, that looks cool. I went... I was... For like a week, I was like, I want everything red. And I bought a red, like cheap used, but I bought a red uh, TV uh, flat screen and a red this and a red that and so many red things. And I just thought it would be fun to have like a little room with only red consoles and a red TV. And But the thing is, I don't have a little room to do that. I mean, I could make one, I guess, but I already... Anyway, so I was looking at these at a electronics store and I don't know they were like 35 or 40 dollars and I I, I, sh I took a photo of the four color variations they had if I find it I'll put it here but then I looked on Amazon and they had them for like 20 dollars so sorry I bought one on Amazon and I bought wouldn't you know red and it's not necessarily the best looking of them, but I added black because it was too red. I added black, uh, yeah, covers to the analog sticks. The thing about this is you can use it. It has a battery and you can use it as a, you know, controller with your switch in docked mode or, you know. Uh, but it, <laughs> there's just like this little space. Like, what's up with that? Uh, hi, little space. You could put your weed in there, I guess. I don't know. What do you do with that? There's, I mean, in the comments, tell me, what, what could you put in there? Because, I mean, you're holding your controller like this, so it might not fall out. You know, there is a hole here, so probably the liquid's not good. Coke? I don't know. Coca-Cola, I mean, because, you know, if you snort Coca-Cola, uh, it gives you a boost of energy. 
Um, I don't know. But I mean, the thing is, the reviews for this are horrible. And uh, I ended up buying it. So the thing is, yeah, it's got battery, yeah. But it also has mappable buttons on the back. Uh, I don't know if it has turbo. I couldn't tell you. Maybe it doesn't have turbo, but it doesn't have the. It does have mappable buttons. Uh, I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> I th I want to say it doesn't allow you to turn on the switch from sleep mode. I think the switch has to be on before you can use it. So that's a thing. But there's a whole thing you have to go through. Like it's not that involved, but you have to like put these switches down and then pull this little thing out and then. Did I get everything? There might be more. Maybe those switches are the other way. They have to be up. I don't know. Because I'm still... I don't know. Wait. I'll try it again. And then you... Oh, there we go. And look. Now you can actually put the Switch console in there. So, so far so good, right? However, maybe I don't want to scratch up my Switch that I just paid $300 for, right? This goes against the back of it. And there's no rubber or anything to keep, you know, from scratching it. So that's why I have this paper that was in the little holder, which I mean, if they had me on their team, I would have uh, suggested something like this, but way cooler, you know, made of something like foam or whatever that fits perfectly and looks cool and has like a logo on it. And then you take it out and then you put it on here. Actually, I just, I mean, this would have rubber on it to begin with, but anyway. So I have a switch here somewhere. Just happens to be the, I don't know what it's called. Oh, I thought I had a switch here somewhere. I think I have a switch here somewhere, probably. There will be jump cuts in this video, like there probably always are, but I mean, I <laughs> there's so much crap going on here. Let's see what's going on in this bag of goodie. This is something that I bought that I haven't opened yet, and I'll open it to see if the condition is as described in the listing. It's a used thing, a limited edition thing. It's a limited edition 360 Tomb Raider controller. I love all three of these games, actually. But, um, yeah, I saw it and I bought it, but it's in really good condition, so... Anywho, that's what it is, and I've said anywho a lot in this video. I apologize for that. I don't even like that word. Eh, that's not the one that I wanted to show you. What in the world's going on here? I know that I grabbed it. Where did I put it? Why am I losing my mind? It's the vaccine. Okay, I found it. This is what I wanted to show you. So this is the... What? Mario... Man, it's amazing how fast we forget... It's whatever Switch is all red. I just loved the fact that it was all red and I wanted one with a bigger screen. And there it is. The <laughs> hey, look at that. Whoa, that's freaky. And yet, yeah, no, it's not. So, and I'm using a Skull & Company grip, which I bought myself. They have sent me stuff in the past for review and I have reviewed it, but I continue to buy it because I love it. And I love this one because one, it's, it's black, so the color isn't gonna change. It's got the whole shiny thing going on in the middle. And then, uh, I love this grip, oh baby. Probably I could do black here, but I don't know. I just wanted to make everything red. So, just pops right off. And yet, when, you, when it's on, it feels sturdy, right? Anywho, so that's the end of my advertisement for school and come. Actually, no, it's not, because these cases are also awesome. You've got, you put the <laughs> switch in there, yeah, and then you can put your games there, and your other stuff here, and your other stuff there, and it keeps it, it's good. Right, anyway, so I just wanted to show you, like some red stuff does not match this console because it's kind of a, I don't know, it's not my favorite. I really like this red, like this is the red that I like. This is almost orange compared to that, right? But if you don't have anything around it, it just looks like, you know, red, it's cool. But this thing that got really poor reviews, I can put it on there, but I don't wanna scratch it. So I just put this paper here, right? It's a bit involved, right? But let me just show you the result. Give me a moment. It doesn't look cool. I need to uh, make a more streamlined 
switch protector thing, but that's what it looks like right now, for now. Obviously I can do more with that. I just don't like having a plastic going against the plastic, but look at how the colors match. How cool is that? It looks awesome. And it feels good in the hand, yeah? It's not perfect ergonomically, like it could be a bit better, but it's pretty good. And that, I mean, the back is kind of eh, but whatever. It was like $20. And I played a bit of Zelda with this, and I didn't, I don't remember having any moments of like, this is crap, what is this crap? It feels cheap, it's plasticky, it's light, and I'm sweating. But I mean, yeah, the D-pad. The D-pad is, that's, that's the thing, the D-pad is pretty shit actually. So there you go. There's some, I mean, the D-pad, well, I said that, but it, so it pushes all the way down, but then it does have a pivot. So it's not, actually maybe not that bad. Anyway, it's not great, but it's pretty dang cool. And the, the whole, like, keeping it red motif thing, I really like it. So I'm happy, but if it weren't this exact color, I would probably never use it. Uh, but anyway, and I want to use it some more, but I genuinely, I tried to use it the other day and I couldn't remember what kind of magic combination of buttons you're supposed to push to activate it. Like there's a whole thing there. And that, that's not so good, right? You want to make things simpler to the, I mean, like this is not going to be easy to find information about on the internet because it's not very popular or whatever. But, uh, anywho, I just thought it was a neat thing and I'm going to, I guess I am going to put it back together right now because it just kind of snapped together. So yeah, you know, once once you get the hang of it, and if you're somebody who isn't insane like me and you just buy one thing and you use it and you, you know, you're good with it and you happen to like it, then it'll be fine. But it'll, it'll be fine. Anyway, why, what the heck, man, 11 minutes and I showed you a junky controller. Well, I mean, it's not junky, but like it doesn't do Amiibo, right? So do NFC, but it, it does a lot of other stuff that's pretty cool. That was something. Okay, this video sucks, I'm sorry. Uh, so I bought the Switch, I guess I can talk about that, simply because look at how red it is. And I wanted another Switch that's not a Switch Lite, uh, because I did. It's a pain in the butt, because when my wife's playing Ring Fit Adventure or whatever, and then I have to like go in and make sure the data is saved and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Basically an excuse to buy another Switch. For example, an OLED screen, that would be one. <laughs> I love this. I hope they make a white one to go with the OLED. Look at how awesome that looks. Come on, admit it, that's awesome looking. I just used the stock plastic uh, screen protector for now. It's already got scratches on it. I don't know how that happened, but I wanna get a, a glass one to put on there. I just haven't gotten around to it. But yeah, I love this. I love the school candy goodness. And there you go. I bought some games on the Switch today. I downloaded them after watching, I don't know, much of the Nintendo Direct. So I bought, um, I bought Crisis Wing, where, okay, so here's my, no, that's not it. Come to me. Come to me. Where are you? Uh, I played Crisis Wing uh, on the PS4 a fair amount. I got a platinum trophy. I got all the trophies. And that's not saying much because it's an East Asia soft game, but I, you know, this is my uh, kind of daily driver. Not that I drive daily or play video games every day, even I don't have time. But <laughs> this is the the Switch Lite that I am most likely to be carrying around if I am in fact carrying a Switch Lite. And it's the first one I bought and yay. What are you doing, cat? Anyway, so you can maybe see here I can get some focus, I don't know. Cri yeah, it's, yeah, Crisis Wing. And then also next to that is Castlevania Advanced Collection. I'm excited about both of those. I haven't even booted up Castlevania Advanced Collection yet, but I love it because it's designed for a portable play. So I feel like the kind of proportions and everything, maybe the text will be a bit easier to read. Dude, I suddenly got old. And so now when I play my Switch Lite, I'm much more comfortable playing like this. And I don't care, like I don't, that's fine with me. It just, it makes my face hot, but whatevs. Right, so Crisis Swing is good and I'm gonna make a kind of review of it. Uh, so I don't wanna say too much, but I think for 
between six and ten dollars it's quite good it's better right now on the ps4 because you can't use the d-pad right now on the switch i think they're going to update that and there are some other things but i mean it, it plays okay i have some things that i want to complain about or i'd like them to fix in a patch or whatever but yeah overall i'm happy with it i just feel like again they needed me on their team because i could have made it better i really believe that but that's not to say that it's not a good game you know what i mean um so yeah <laughs> and i don't think that i'm all that i just think that i have some good ideas about this particular game and whatever the other thing was that i was talking about earlier i've already forgotten <laughs> because the vaccine made me stupid so stupider whatever appears in front of my eyes look it's mars matrix the japanese version complete with spine card oh wow and it's so minty fresh minty fresh minty that's not minty <coughs> that's moldy moldy fresh it smells like mildew that sucks that is not a good smell so this needs to be like put out in the sun but not too long because it'll fade and then it needs to be put in a bag of kitty litter uh maybe with some baking soda nearby for like a week, if not a month, to just get all of that out. Um, so that's a bummer. And I paid $33 or something for this. I don't know. But the thing is, it's in really, really good condition except for the smell. But when I opened the case, and I knew this when I bought it, that is not a Mars Matrix disc, no siree. Oh, and there's also the survey card in here. I'm not gonna take it out because I'm lazy, but. Anyway, this is from the Dreamcast Magazine, uh, Japanese version, and it has uh, demos of, <laughs> here we go. I mean, I can pretty much read it, but I like to be sure. Never Seven, The End of Infinity, Gun Spike, which is Cannon Spike or something like that, it's kind of a, shooty arena shooter kind of game mars matrix daytona usa 2001 it has the demo and a movie which is like the demo of that it has like three tracks or three races so that's one third of the game probably i don't know echo the dolphin defender of the future movie so no no uh uh demo fighting vipers 2 movie and then planet Harrier's special movie. So the other movies aren't special, but this one's special. Anyway, super cool. I love getting uh, demos of shooters, especially. Uh, somewhere I have a demo of um, for Saturn of with, that includes Saturn Bomber Cat. Saturn Bomber Cast. Wow, Bomberman, and it's so cool because you. I mean, you can you can play it. And it's great. So this is fun. I have the game. I don't have the US version. I've tried a few times to get it and I've not managed to do it. And now it's a lot more expensive than it used to be. And I don't need it because I have the Japanese one, but it's kind of one of my favorite shooters. I don't want to say it's my favorite of all time, but I think it's probably in my top five. If I were to name my top five, it would change, but definitely in my top five are this and Radiant Silver Gun. But I actually am not that good at shooters. So I just really like them. And I got a haircut and I'm not sure what I think of it. Anyway, that was really fun because just this uh, case with the spine card, it's worth what I paid. And then the demo disc was what I really wanted. So pretty cool, I think. Um, I bought a whole bunch of uh, soundtracks. I don't know what got into me. I sold some stuff and I had some money and I was like, ooh, I sold stuff, let's buy stuff. Kinda doesn't really work out that well when you do that. But uh, maybe I'll show others, maybe I won't. But one of them is this one, Thunder Force 3 and AC from the Technosoft Music Collection. I haven't even opened it yet. I may, I think I found it on YouTube, so I was like, oh, I'm just gonna listen to it on YouTube for now. May open it someday, may not. Maybe I'll send it to Wata, 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 and they can grade it and I can sell it for a million dollars. Right, so there's that. Uh, I love the soundtracks. I love the physical media. I'm old, so I like to listen to CD because CD, here's the thing, CD sounds better. It's clearly better sound quality, but my ears are not good quality. So I could probably be listening to something from like 128 AAC. I don't even know if I'm getting that right. Like really low quality, like iPod stuff. And I'd be like, that sounds really good. Uh, I don't know. 
but I, I enjoy the process of putting a CD in the CD player and all of that. And I, the same with vinyl and I got a text and I want to make sure it's not important. It's not important. I mean, it is, but I can, you know, do it, deal with it later. Uh, in no order. Okay, so that's gonna be a sp Oh, look, another soundtrack! This I bought used, because I couldn't find one new. But I love the music. Um, Konami has really good music in their games. Like, Gyrus is one of my favorite games of all time. I, I love that game. And, anyway, obviously the Castlevania music is great. Oh, look, here's a bunch of the best music from three different games. Woohoo! It even says, Besuto! Uh, it's got 33 tracks. Pretty sweet. And look, the disc's not in there because I've been listening to it. But it came with the spine card! I don't know how much I paid. Like $20. But, um, really glad to have this in my... I can't say small. I have like a hundred of them. But a uh, collection of video game soundtrack CDs. Right? Well, and throw in uh, vinyl. Boring. Uh, this is... And I don't have it here, but now I really need to get it. This sucks. I don't want to go grab it. Damn it. <clears throat> Jump cut number one. Okay, so I bought a case. I am a sucker for cases. I love a good case. Mm. And uh, this one looks like this. It's decent quality. The zipper's okay. I mean, it's not... I don't have any complaints, you know, but it's not like Hori or something like that. It's just whatever. I have no idea who made this. Someone in China, I reckon. But anyway, I bought it because it fits perfectly with these Hori, whatever they're called. Uh, I really don't know what they're called. Anyway, <laughs> controllers that snap on to your switch like so, right? And these also have one mappable button in the back. And my Switch kickstand is still, this is the original one from like release date, still going strong because I take good care of my stuff, right? But I bought this when I was on my red kick, but this red does not match the red of my other Switch and that bothers me, right? So anyway, and I like these a lot, but I, I think that maybe they're slightly overrated. There's just something about them. I just feel like something about maybe the analog six they're fine they're good they're definitely i mean worth the money if you're looking for something like this but anyway so i wanted a case so that i could just take it off the stand and uh go with it this one's cool because it has this and you can put games there so 10 games and then bloop get down there another 10 games and then charger or whatever up there so that's pretty cool pretty cool <laughs> guess what game is in this one guess 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 <gasps> ring fit adventure so my wife was being really good like doing it every day and my daughter would get into it and ivan did it a couple times and then the olympics happened and then my wife's like i gotta watch the olympics i'll do it later and now yeah i don't know maybe she'll do it again maybe she won't i'm fine either way i don't care if she's having fun she's enjoying it great but I'm not going to be like, hey, you need to do Ring Fit Adventure. I haven't done it for like three weeks. She's not the fat one in the family. So anyway, <laughs> I don't know who it is and I don't know why. Here's a game that I bought. Uh, I don't know why. It, uh, I saw it probably five or six times at this game store that I don't get to go to that often, maybe like once or twice a month. Uh, but nobody ever bought it, and I think it's because they didn't think they'd be able to play it on their console, uh, because they wouldn't. <laughs> uh, and this um, sticker that I was trying to peel off was on there for so long that I'm gonna have to use like Google or something to get it off. This is Painkiller, Hell and Damnation. Some kind of, oh, collector's edition, so it slides out there. This is the PAL version, and I think maybe you need a PAL console to play it. I have at least one PAL console, but that particular PAL console is not going to get connected to the internet ever. But it should still play this game, you know. Um, but it's got all kinds of doodads in here. There's an art book. Right? Uh, a poster. 
another poster. Wow. I mean, okay. This is, what is this? What are you? So this is, looks like this is the lyrics for the soundtrack. A postcard, a couple postcards. I'm going to be sure to send those. I'm going to be sure to send those. Uh, some, what are these? I guess they're just like stickers. And, oh look, here is the soundtrack. So, I haven't played it. It's in good condition and all that. You know, what I like about this generation is they still included manuals. That was cool. Those were the days. Uh, but, <laughs> anyway, I bought that. I don't know what I paid. Like, maybe, I don't know, 15 or $20, I reckon. But, um, so, that's a thing that I bought. I finally just broke down and took the plunge on that one. And uh, I'll see if it works. I don't know if it'll work on my US consoles either. But worst case, worst case scenario, it sits on my shelf, which has never happened with any other game I've ever bought ever. This will be the first one. It's very sad. Uh, but I think I can play it just on my, my PAL 360, which I believe is connected in the other room to my rotating monitor. Okay, so I'm, it's like I'm trying to break a, a speed record for the longest video. Like one item per 10 minutes. I bought this, I'm not sure why. I, there was a week or so where I was like, I'm gonna buy everything that I even slightly want, and I did. Not everything. But this is a TurboGrafx-16 2.4G wireless gamepad. I haven't used it yet, but they make good stuff. And the... Uh, PC Engine Mini is awesome and I, I have all three versions of it so I can use this with all three versions and I haven't like hacked them or anything like that I just I love them they're really great I just don't have time you know to play them but this is a good way to play it I reckon so I wanted that in my collection yipper so that's there's that yes sir and that's a pile of stuff and that too that I need to maybe save for a bit later here is something that I've been planning to buy for about 10 years. And I spent a bit of money on this, so I feel like hopefully that will motivate me to actually use it. This is a capture device. This is the Elgato Game Capture HD 60S Plus. And I went with that because I basically don't feel like I need 4K for my game capture footage just yet. Uh, I don't know. It just seemed like this was the best all-around one for me. And, uh, yeah. So I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. But I bought it. I also bought a green screen, which is over there. That's not worth showing. But it's just a thing. Like, it's actually kind of cool. You put it on your office chair, which it's like just like the chair that I have. And then it makes this kind of circle around like this that's all green screen. And I think I'll have to be, like, right up in the camera like this. But it'll be interesting to do that. So just messing around with it. I've, I've wanted to improve the production quality of my channel for a long time because I feel like I'm, it's a wasted opportunity. But I don't have time, like especially right now. Maybe in like literally a year, six months. Hmm, six months. I will have time and then there'll be something else, right? It'll be like I'll have a new job or whatever. But uh, I want to at least stick with it, keep doing it. So anyway, that's something that I finally the bullet on uh so that's cool and then doshio i've got all this stuff to show you here is uh so i'm a sucker for a lot of things and one of those things is a bargain and i was at the kind of well when i go to work there's like this uh electronics it's a big electronic store and they have a little bin of bargains like look like we want to get rid of this stuff and so they had these headphones I can show them to you uh, I was trying to get the price tag off it's not gonna laugh. these were 500 yen so like four dollars and 35 cents or something like that I don't know 450 something like that and they're just kind of whatever right but then you look at them a little bit more closely and it seems like this is a a, ba a brand that's like not crap that it comes with a carrying case uh virtually indestructible it says so i mean they're meant to be tough tight bass and clear vocals 
Anyway, they sound like they're actually good. And I was like, wow, five bucks, and they're designed for iPhone, iPad, whatever. I think the reason they're so cheap is because they have the standard, what is it, 3.5 millimeter? I don't know, jack, not the lightning one. So, I mean, you need an adapter for that, but I prefer it that way because then it works with everything. So, uh, anywho, here's the case. Kind of nice. Not that it's going to protect them that much, but, you know, keep them clean at least. Cool zipper there. And then they're interesting because, zoo, they just come off. <laughs> like, that's really weird. So if you buy, like, different colors, you can mix and match, right? But all I found was blue, so whatevs. And they go on... I might be doing it right now. They go like this. They go on your ears like this, but the noise canceling is really good actually it's surprising uh my voice sounds really muffled to me because i have them on and they're not that comfortable for long periods of time because they are pinning your ears against your head but like for an hour or so they're quite good and they're just they're good in a pinch right and i don't know they're and they have controls i think yeah yeah, yeah. uh that work so they work somewhat i don't know it depends on what you're plugging it into anyway it was five bucks and they're quite good so yay me and I've used them, you know, quite a bit. I have better headphones, but sometimes I feel like using these, depending on, like, the situation or whatever. Okay, so that's that. Speaking of headphones, should I just show you this? This is... <laughs> this is the um, Xbox uh, wireless headset. And I don't know, I can't think of all the specs or whatever, but this is what it looks like. My complaint would be that this thing, like, I want to, I want it to be retractable. I want it to disappear because I so rarely use the mic. I like that I have one, but anyway, these are very comfortable. And what I like is volume is here. And then this is just the balance of, uh, I want to say like, I don't know, for like on, online play stuff, which I almost never do, but it's, you know, again, it's good to have it. Here, there's a button to turn the mic on and off, and then there's a light if it's on that shines, and it's like, okay, I know I'm on. But I, I just want it to, like, go away, but sometimes it's, I don't know, in the way, right? But other than that, so far, no complaints. And what's cool is they just connect to the Xbox One or Xbox Series console directly. You don't have to do any, like, other stuff. And they are Bluetooth, so they work with, like, if I wanted to use these with my smartphone, Presumably I could, but I'm not probably ever going to because I bought them to use with my Xbox. And that's what I'll do. Okay, and I have been, and it's been really good. And I have played, I've been gaming more in the last mm, two weeks or so, uh, you know, on average than probably any time in the last, since the Switch came out, probably right after the Switch came out, I was playing a lot of Switch, Breath of the Wild and Xenoblade Chronicles 2. But... I got an Xbox Series X and I'm loving it. I paid a little more, like a little, little more, like less than $100 extra just to get it and be done with it. Somebody bought one, some average, just regular person, and they realized they could get a little bit more. So they just told it for, but really just a little bit more. And then I did the math. Like if I were to buy it from the US and ship it here for a retail price, it would have cost more than, if, than what it cost me to just buy it from this person. So I didn't, in the end, lose money plus it's better for me to have a japanese console because it's easier to get warranty coverage i reckon i don't know anywho so i'm all about the xbox one series consoles right now as you will see <laughs> and the fact that i can't get a playstation 5 for less than like 800 dollars or more i don't know it's like fueling my insanity this totally not needed by me this is the Xbox series, so what am I trying to say, Xbox? What are these even called? Damn it, Elite. The Xbox Elite Controller Series 2. And the case has a little thingy here so you can, you can put the controller in the case and then you can plug the case in and charge it. I think it's just a gimmick, but it's, a, it's whatever, right? So here's that, it's awesome. But the thing is, I actually really love just the standard Xbox 
even just the Xbox One controller. I really like it. Even since the Tokyo Game Show 2013, I remember holding the Xbox One controller for the first time and thinking, okay, this is just right. And it just felt awesome. I played some, I think, Forza, whatever, six maybe, uh, five, I guess. I don't know. Anywho, so I bought this. And one of the reasons I bought it, because I wasn't really looking for one, uh, was they're normally, I think, $150. And for whatever reason, I think maybe this person got it as a gift and they didn't want it. I don't know. But they sold it new. And it was new. Like the seal hadn't been broken. And I bought it for like 115 or $110. So got a good deal on it. So sweet. And at that particular time, even controllers for the Xbox Series uh, consoles were kind of hard to come by. Like they were going for 80 bucks, right? Uh, just for a regular one. So I have a lot of those too show all of them. I was just like, I need more controllers because they're new. I'm so stupid. Just the Xbox One controller works great. You don't need the Xbox Series controller. It adds a share button. And maybe like there's some little tweaks here and there, but at the end of the day, nah. Uh, and that's a pretty cool thing, right? That the, the Xbox One controller works fine with the Xbox Series. Like you can use the home button or whatever it's called, the Xbox button to do that stuff anyway, I'm pretty sure. So now that the cat's out of the bag that I have a Xbox One Series X and headphones and controllers and la di da I'll show you this and I'm going to need to go back and editing because I can't remember the name of the company that sent it to me. But they sent me an email saying we want to send you some stuff for review, what can you sh do, whatever. And one of the things they included was this, um, this is a, a cover for... Uh, the Xbox Series controller, and I actually really like it. It, I don't know, these little massagey things, they're cool. I enjoy them, and they keep your hands from kind of sticking to the controller, and it's it's really good. The problem with these things is, like, it's pretty much impossible because you're playing for them to stay centered, you know what I mean? But they do the best they can, and it's fine. Uh, and I'm using it. Right, as you can see, and I've used it since day one, actually. As soon as I got my console, I put this on there. So I do really like it. Um, I don't know what they cost that. I reckon they're probably around 10 bucks. Uh, but this company, they sent me one for the PlayStation 5 as well. Who knows when I'm gonna get one of those. And they also sent me uh, some like snap-on covers for the uh, Switch, which are super cool because when you have like a, a regular Switch, Sometimes it's nice to change the color scheme if you can, right? And it's, I don't know how much these are, 10 or $15 maybe, but you just snap on these covers for the Joy-Cons and the monitor, uh, and it changes the color scheme. And I have a photo of that too, so hopefully I can show you that and I don't have to go get it. Right, so, and they work great, so two for two, right? Uh, I mean, you, I don't expect miracles, but this works really well, right? It, and it looks nice. Uh, I just put it on the black one because I'm boring. Because uh, all my other controllers have boxes, and I'm such a dork. Like, because it's all so new, I keep them all in their boxes. And then if I'm like, ooh, I want to use my red controller today, I take it out of the box and I use it. Maybe I use it for a few days. Then I remove the batteries or the battery pack and I put it back in the box. Eventually I'm going to be like, why do I have all these boxes? And just toss them. But I'm enjoying the newness of it, especially because they're so hard to get those stupid consoles. And it costs me a lot of money, so I'm just going to enjoy it, you know? So, and I had it. A few Xbox One games, I think I probably had 30 or maybe 40 discs, which is not, you know, a, a, a tiny amount. But I have like, I don't even know, three or 400 PlayStation 4 discs. So I, I bought a few more Xbox One games, and then more after that I'm going to show you. But they're not, I mean, in Japan they're hard to find to begin with, because it's not popular. But anyway, over time I've accumulated a few. And I'll start with this one because this is what I'm just, I'm loving this game. It's not perfect, but I'm loving it. And that is, ah, Ass Creed Valhalla. And I'm playing as a chick, but I kind of want to be able to switch to a guy. I'm starting to feel a little bit like, 
I don't know, just I like a change basically, nothing nothing else than that besides that. Uh, I switched the um, case around. I always, I've mentioned this before, but I always keep these stickers because that's part of when they're new. Really dumb, but I do that. Anywho, I actually don't like, it's, it's difficult for me, like, I want to say something about this. The PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, like, it plays all the PlayStation 4 games, right? But then PlayStation 5 exclusive games, they have a different color. They're like white, right? And so you, when you have them on the shelf, it's clearly, you can tell the difference. But for the Xbox, I mean, I guess here's a good example. Xbox One. Xbox. The thing is, there's an Xbox, and it's not these. It's the Xbox, like the... Xbox series and they're all green like this like it's they're all a little different or whatever but anyway at the same time though they're really pushing the whole like well, we play everything but they don't right like the Xbox one or the Xbox series I mean the Xbox series plays all the Xbox one games so whatever but it's gonna play some 360 games and some original Xbox games but not all of them like there I still keep my 360 plugged in because there's loads and loads of games that I have downloaded and disc that I can't play otherwise so at least it's something right at least it's something but at the end of the day you need lots and lots of storage space oh, so I bought uh, this one because I watched reviews and it was like this is one of the most next-gen looking games or whatever and then I bought this because I bought this and I was like, I gotta have them both. I bought this, I don't know why, because <laughs> I did. And then I already showed that one. This one also, so some review I was watching was like, yeah, this game is just like next gen. You know, when you play it upgraded. This one I had wanted for a while and it was, I, I got a good deal on it, so I grabbed it. It's fine. I'm just not sure how big of a fan of Borderlands I am. I don't, it's, it's fine. I guess, what do I want to say? Like, you get those 4K graphics and everything. I kind of prefer things to look more real. I like the art style of this a lot, but I don't know. Maybe it's just, I have to be in the right mood too. I played it a bit. It's, it's fine. I don't have a complaint about it. It's just Valhalla, Valhalla, whatever grabbed me the open world i could just go around and like kill stuff and i leveled up something so that now you've got this crow right a raven and <laughs> the smartest birds apparently but you shoot stuff with your arrow and if you kill it the raven will go and and retrieve not only the arrow but also whatever you loot from that thing and it's like it's really kind of addictive just going around killing stuff like innocent cows and sheep or whatever people too. Uh, I bought this, very much looking forward to playing it. I don't know if I'll make it through all three games or Andromeda, but I like knowing that I can. I could have the opportunity to do that. I don't know if that's the right word. This one I really, really want to play, like I'm super looking forward to it, but I haven't finished um, Skyward Sword. I don't know if I will. <laughs> uh, and I'm very early in uh, Valhalla and it's like how many games do I want to be trying to play at the same time and then this one I probably could have not bought but I did buy it and I mean I have it on Game Pass but it's the Xbox One version this one is the Xbox Series X version so but this is a game I was interested in from the beginning and like all of these were $20 or $25 at most I think so I don't know I kind of, I'm happy that there aren't a ton of games that I'm like, oh, I want that, I want that, I want that. It's nice because it's enough. It's enough. I'm happy in my zone of like, I have to buy the shoot 'em ups and once in a while there's a game I really want, and then otherwise, if it's super cheap, I'll grab it. Hey, that was a segue. Wow, that's rare. I'm going to reward myself. Uh, yeah, okay, so, are they? where are those games? Oh, okay, so the other day, was it yesterday? It might have been yesterday, I think it was yesterday. I worked, and then on my way home, I stopped at a game store, 
and I was looking at Assassin's Creed games because I'm just so into Valhalla right now, and I had a, some PS3 ones, like, in my arms. One was a big box one, and then, uh, and then I grabbed some, I don't know, whatever. I had, like, four games. I was like, yeah, this is cool. I'm gonna do this. And then I was standing there still looking at stuff, and it's like a, an aisle that's not super wide, and some douchebag, like, walked by me without saying, okay, I have to be honest. I had earphones, earphones, headphones, probably earphones, so I couldn't hear really what was going on around me, but I'm pretty sure he didn't say, oh, excuse me, or anything like that. He just kind of, like, bumped me, and I was trying to be considerate and get out of his way, but it was like, he could have turned sideways a little, but he's just like, rrr, rrr. and I just, it rubbed me the wrong way, but to be fair, maybe I overthought it. I don't know. Anyway, I was like, I kind of went like that. And then I was fine, whatever. But then, like, he was the one who should be like, oh, I'm sorry. But he, instead of doing that, he's just like, giving me the stare down. I'm like, you don't, you don't want to go there. Like, this doesn't end well for anyone. So I just tuned him out. But then I just, I lost any inkling of buying. I was like, whatever. I just put everything back and I left. I can't deal with this right now because I don't want to murder anyone and I know I don't need this stuff anyway so whatever but then yeah I, and I was pissed off and I <laughs> you know, got home did stuff I went to work today I was not informed of stuff with time or whatever so I got there too early and then it was like why are you here and it was a whole thing and that didn't make me happy either but then I was like I know here that I don't need to be upset about this, but I'm still irritated. And then it irritates me that I'm irritated. You know what I mean? So it's like a vicious cycle. And I worked through it or whatever, but at 45, I really don't need to be getting mad about stuff. I just really need to be like, okay, that's your problem. So, <laughs> and I was thinking about whatever stuff, but then at some point I realized one of the games that I put back yesterday was a stupidly good deal. It's pretty new, and it's I think it goes for like 30 or $40 still, maybe 25 whatever, but I would have to import it, so I would have to pay shipping. And they had it for 980 yen, and I was like, okay, I should buy that. Uh, I should have bought that, even with douchebag. So I decided, just because I, I wanted something to change my mood, to go back to that store, even though it's a bit out of my way, on my way home today. And I did, and the game was still there. And I bought that and two other games, which I know very little about. And I kind of like that. I'm kind of excited about it. They were each like $12. Uh, it's fun, you know, once in a while to do that. So I'll show you those games. Here we go. Assuming, yep, there they are. Right where they're supposed to be. So the one that I was, like I went there for specifically, is this. I got this for $9. And this is a great game, and it runs really smoothly, and blah, blah, blah. And it even has some kind of... It's not a manual, I guess, but... You know what? I love this. I love it that this exists. It's just the controls, but that's so nice. Just to have something. So when you open up this case, and it has these little clips, there's something in there. That pleases me. The game store is okay, but the people I was dealing with were not that great. So, like, there's stuff on the back of the disc. They don't even bother to do anything about it, but I just wanted to get out of there. But, so, the reversible cover, I'll show you, looks like this. And I guess I'll do that, but it's like it kind of takes away from the whole PlayStation 4 thing. But it's still in the blue case, so that's all right. So, I think I will put it in there, because I... Genuinely, genuinely, no, 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 generally, if there's a reversible cover, and if I don't hate it, even if I kind of hate it, I'll, I'll reverse it just because it's different, right? And I mean, I can always put it back, but yeah, this is fun. As long as it shows the name of the game on the spine, I'm not too much of a stickler for having everything be uniform. So there you go. That's pretty cool. Why... Of all the three, like you've got Switch and, well, Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony, they've got blue, green, and like clear. I know Switch uses red, obviously, with the labels, but I want one of these cases to be red. 
and uh, Sony uses that, or they did with the PS3 at least for the kind of greatest hits. I saw a PS4 game with that, but I think that was like afterward, after after the fact. I don't know. I like those though. I want to start collecting PS3 red cases because I don't have enough things to collect yet. Anyway, nine dollars. And then I bought these two games because they looked interesting and they were 12 bucks each. And they were uh, NTSC, North American releases. Earthfall and Terminator Resistance. I know next to nothing about either of them. And I'm quite happy with that. I'm happy to see comments about them as well. Please tell me if you have something to say about them. But you see what I mean? Like, that's not uniform. But, eh, whatever. So I got those, and I actually wasn't planning, I was planning to just buy this, and then I thought I'd maybe look online and see if I want these or not, but then I saw something else, I was like, well, screw it, if I'm spending that much money, just buy everything. This is how the mind of me, dumb, works. But I'm not going to tell you what that thing is yet. <laughs> oh, no. Because it would be like, dude, you're stupid, and I don't ever want to watch your channel again, and then you'll stop. So I'll save that for the end kind of a big deal <sighs> so what else actually I think I told you a lot of the stuff I wanted to tell you so that's good all right so I was as I said before a bit irritated from work today because people didn't communicate as they were supposed to but it, it turns out that the person who was supposed to be sending me email updates about everything she had her second vaccine shot last a few days ago and she was kind of just down for the count for a few days and that is uh, one of the reasons why she didn't do a very good job of communicating so I was like oh well you know and then I felt bad for being upset like more than I did already and then I just you know I wanted to change my mood or just do something to think about something else and I just, I went to the electronic store not expecting to find anything. It's not like you walk in there and be like, oh, look, a PS5 and buy it. You can't because they're all like, no, you have to enter the lottery to win the opportunity to buy it. And it's so irritating and it's all in Japanese. And it's just like, ah, and you have to make an account with our store and you have to spend a thousand yen at least in the last year. Like, nah, this is not how this is supposed to be. And I don't want any part of it. Right. So I didn't expect to find anything. But today... They had a whole bunch of games for 500 yen. Now, I bought a lot of games for 500 yen that I don't need or want, probably. But it was therapy. It was retail therapy. So, and they were new, most of them. So I'm just going to show them to you, and you can judge me, because that's why we're here. Uh, and they were in a particular order until they got put back in the bag, but... Since I was showing you Xbox One games earlier, I'll go back to that and wait for it okay and like these are not i mean there are 500 yen so that means they're not new right but there are games from like release of the last gen consoles now ps4 and xbox one that still look great and play great so i'm not gonna be a snob about that kind of stuff so here's a little sneak preview Woo! It's exciting to have this many Xbox One games, especially Japanese ones, and they're all new. So I bought, and these are all 500 yen, I think. One of them maybe, you know, all 500 yen. So NBA 2K16, a game that I would never buy, right? Not full price anyway. And NBA 2K17. This one is a good game. It's brand new, and I got it for 500 yen. 500 yen is like $4.60 or something like that. I have no idea. I mean, I don't have no idea, but I, I don't have... I'm not exactly sure. UFC, another game that I would never buy, but for 500 yen, I'm hap I'm excited to, you know, try it out. This one I definitely would never buy, <laughs> and 500 yen was overpaying. But at, at that point, I was like, well, I'm putting it in there anyway. It's an old soccer game, but I enjoy those soccer games. And sometimes I'll play one. I'll be like, okay, this particular game, the controls feel more intuitive or blah, blah, blah. But I think they haven't changed much over the years, actually. So I'm stupid. This is the complete Battlefield 1 pack. Battlefield 1 game plus premium pass plus blah, blah, blah. However, it may be that it's now old enough that all of that download stuff is expired. I don't know. 
Also, I think maybe I can just play this for free on Game Pass, but I'm not 100% sure. Zoo Tycoon. Another game I would never buy, but it's kind of like, oh, that's kind of interesting, right? And Murdered Soul Suspect. An interesting game, which was a release title, I'm pretty sure, for both consoles. So, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I spent like $35 or something like that for all these games, and I'm happy. I like, even if they just sit on my shelf like this, like, I'm just really happy with it. So now I have actually a, an Xbox One. I actually have some Xbox One games. Like, I had a few before, but now I have a few more. So that's fun. Yay. But wait, there's more. Wee -hoo, wee -hoo. I kind of hate this game. It doesn't have English. And the characters go, and it's written all in kanji and Japanese. Like, I don't want to read. I want to play. And I don't want to study. I want to play. Anyway, it was $3 and it was 380 yen. So I bought it again. I actually bought it once before and then sold it immediately because I didn't want it. I didn't want to waste money on it. This game has English and I already have it. And now I have it again because it was 500 yen. The wonderful 101 for the Wii U. I like the Wii U a lot, like a lot, lot. And it's kind of sad that it didn't do better, but it's, it's a great system. Yep. This game, I think, is a Japanese exclusive. This is Wii U Just Dance special version, Yokai Watch Dance. And now I'm the proud owner of a copy of it. And then a couple Lego games. Can't go wrong with these. I don't think they have English, but I mean, I'm the only person in my house that really reads and speaks English well, so hey. There you go. Pretty cool. Avengers and then Marvel. And I mean, I'm pretty sure I can handle it anyway. So, wow, that's really neat for 500 yen. And then last we have some PlayStation 4 games. And maybe three of these or so I already have, but it's like, I couldn't remember. I can always give them to a friend. I've got loads of friends with PS4s at least, so here we go. This one has VR even. Maybe it's crap, but I'm sure I can get 500 yen worth of enjoyment out of it. This one I already showed you, but it's like I'm, I bought it again because I'm that way. This one was less. It was 440 yen, and I may already have it, but I wanted to, I don't know, I bought it. Again, it's not hard to give these things away. This one as well. Even the, the guy at the counter is like, hey, I've got a few where you doubled up, but eh, they're so cheap, right? Eh. I was like, yep. Star Blood Arena, another VR game. Republic, I don't know how to say that, but there you go. And I think all these, or at least most of them have English. pretty happy like with these. I mean, there's a lot of games that I would be interested in, but not for 30 or $40, you know, not even for really 15 or $20, but for $5, heck yeah. Right. So this one I've been interested in since it was announced, but I've never tried it because, you know, people whined about it and then it was more than, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't $5, but now it is. So, Hey, and then I got this one again because I'm stupid. And then this one, is FIFA 17, but because it's being sold in Japan, it has this slipcase. And then here's the original slipcase, and that's cool. And there was only one of these, and I got it. So yeah, I spent 100 bucks on 22, uh, all but two of them were new games, so. All right, and maybe I should stop this video. There's more that I could show you, there really is, but I feel like maybe that's enough. I could dig for my soundtracks. Are they right there? They are right there. So I'll show you some soundtracks and maybe we'll end there. Let me just get this stuff out of the way. Oops. That was a whole bunch of styli. Some styluses. What's that? Oh, look at that. Well, that's a PlayStation 4 game. I think I got this really cheap too. Earth Defense Force 4.1. 
these games, I'm kind of sick of them actually. They're kind of samey, but they're fun, I guess, for what they are, right? Anyway, yeah, here's a box full of sound. Oh, and I got a new PS3 controller. It's a pretty color. <laughs> right, so, man, I went nuts on the soundtracks. Yeah, bye. Here we go. Sega 60th Anniversary Official Bootleg DJ Mix. Nah, a lot of these I haven't had time to open and listen to yet, you know? Unfortunately, my wife doesn't really like to hang out and listen to game soundtrack music during the day. That's kind of <laughs> one of the compromises I made getting married, okay? And this, I mentioned this one actually in a video before, so no need to go into that. But uh, here we go. This is the Go Sega 60th anniversary album. And it has a bunch of Sega hits from games. And that's four discs. Here is uh, Breath of the Wild original soundtrack. Like, I don't know. Super Deluxe Edition. It's five discs. I love this game so much. It's one of my favorite games of all time. I can't understand, like, how anybody can diss on this game, but I, you know, to each their own. Xenoblade original soundtrack. I loved the second one. The first one, I like it, but I, the two times I've started, I haven't continued. So I showed you earlier the first... Hold on. I showed you this one. Best. This is best two, right? So it's two volumes and they're, they're a set and that's exciting. Right. Uh -huh. What else? A lot more. I just... I bought so many soundtracks. Here's Thunder Force 4. Great soundtrack. Herzog and Herzog's Vi, which is a game I've wanted to get into for the longest time and I just haven't spent the time to do it. I think it's a game that I would enjoy if I, like I said, took the time. Mega Drive Mini Celebration Album. I love this kind of compilation stuff. This is the Astro City Mini Celebration Album. I really like my Astro City Mini. I don't know if I ever showed it. But it's so much fun if you plug it into a, a monitor and you have the arcade stick. And anyway, but it's expensive to do all that. And this is, uh, this. <laughs> if you know, you know. It's the Symphony of the Night soundtrack. Or, where are my glasses? Uh, Akumajo Dracula Gekkano Nocturne Original game soundtrack Anyway A few more Maybe a lot more, I don't know Looks like Eight, maybe Here is the Xenoblade X Soundtrack I really enjoyed that game But then Grub Gun was like It's impossible and I'll never finish it And I was like, yeah, you're probably right <laughs> Uh, I'm a sucker for a set, so like one of these really appealed to me, but then I was like, if I'm gonna buy one, I should buy all three. So, one, two, three. Yeah. And, what else do we have? Oh, is that everything? Okay, cool. Next. Zelda no Densetsu. Okay, so a, a Zelda concert. This has a Blu-ray and, oh, it's really cool. Anyway, this was a whole thing. There, a lot of these I had, like I put them in my shopping cart and I just had them in save for later. I, you know, like sometimes I want to, I'll buy some stuff and then I'll just throw a soundtrack in there. Don't duck a Zelda in it. Here's another Zelda one. This is 
the 30th anniversary of the Zelda Legend of Zelda game music collection. So there's going to be a lot of repeat tracks. And then this, hello, this one almost escaped my notice, but this is, here we go again. Music from Konami Arcade Shooting. So this is a whole bunch of discs with games, uh, with music from Konami, Konami, sorry, arcade games. And look at that. How awesome is that? And it wasn't that expensive either. I don't remember what it cost, but it was less than I would have expected it to be. Anyway, yeah, obviously I went hog wild. I spent more than $100, uh, putting it lightly, on uh, soundtracks. But anyway... It's like this for me, I'll spend a bunch of money on games and then I cool off. And I I was definitely not in that cool off period. But now I'm at a place where it's like, okay, if I find an opportunity to buy a PlayStation 5 uh, for regular price, I'll grab it. And otherwise, you know, if there's a shooter that I don't think I'll be able to get down the road, I need to grab it now, yeah. But otherwise, I'm kind of like, yeah, I think I need to just chill for now. So. That's kind of one of the reasons I made this video. Also, I don't know, it was something to do. It gave me an excuse to come into this room and turn on the air conditioner because downstairs all the windows are open and it's still hot. So thank you for watching and, <laughs> oh, bonus material? Oh, oh, I was sent this review but I had to buy it and it's like make the review and we'll refund your money which I respect that the thing is I wanted to make a proper review of it like actually spend the time and stuff and I just haven't done it I haven't gotten around to it but I'm at least gonna do this and maybe that'll get me somewhere and I've had it for months uh, and I can't remember the name of the company so I'm gonna have to go through in the editing and stuff and do that ah there it is you perfect thank you thank you, thank you. This is the U-Perfect 15.6 inch 1080p QLED touch portable monitor. What's cool about this is you don't, it doesn't have a battery, so it's really just the monitor. And it's big, 15.6 inches is not small, as you can see, right? I think that might be the back of it actually, <laughs> but it looks similar, right? Here's the monitor and you plug it into something like some uh, USB-C stuff will power it. You just plug in the USB-C thing and then it'll power the monitor and then you can use it, right? But otherwise you can just, you can plug it in and play with it that way. And I use this a lot with my Astro City Mini. I was really <laughs> enjoying that. I just had it set up here. So like this is kind of my office right now for like online work. Uh, but then when I would have a break or whatever, I could just mess about with this and it's really good. Uh, oh wow, I almost forgot to show you the grand finale. <laughs> Anywho, this thing, I'm really happy with it. It's got uh, touch controls, it's, it's a touch screen. And some people have made videos where they've shown like they hook up their Android phone and there's like no issues with it and they're like playing the games directly on this huge th thing, which is awesome. But my Android phone, as good as it is, it doesn't get along with this very well. Samsung seems to work really well with it. Uh, but that's just super cool because you don't, like, you don't need extra power sources, right? You just plug your phone in and I suppose it's going to drain the battery a bit. But, and it's just, you know, that's all you're carrying around. And it, it, they, it came with, you know, various cables. So you can plug in your HDMI, mostly your HDMI devices or whatever. But um, I'm really pleased with this. It's really good quality. And I have kept it in the living room. So like sometimes if my daughter's watching TV or my wife's using it or whatever, I can just set this up on the table and play whatever. Like if I'm, I, I was playing Zelda on this, I don't know, a couple weeks ago. And it, like, it really makes a big difference going from a seven inch ish screen to a 15.6 inch screen, especially because my eyes are old. <laughs> and so, I don't know, and it's just right there. It's simple uh, and kind of awesome, to be honest. I don't know what the maximum frame rate is on this, but I, I'm i kind of assuming it's gonna be 60 frames per second. If it were 120, that would be awesome. Uh, but I mean, it seems like that would be kind of dreamy, but anywho, it's really quite good. The quality is good. Um, 
and there are cheaper ones, but I think this one is better than those. So I, I'm not like a tech guy, but I, I want to at least give them a shout out, even if they don't give me my money back. I'm really happy with this because uh, I wasn't looking for one. But now that I have one, I'm like, oh, wow, that's something that I need in my life. This is that portable monitor. So and I've kept the box because that's the way I am. Right. So the last thing that's going to make you realize that I really am so stupid. I saw this today when I went to buy Doom Eternal. And I really did kind of go out of my way. Like it was a whole like extra train ride and a walk and everything. But I was like, well, I'm here and I don't know when I'm going to be here again in this city. I mean, I do, but like not in the near future. And it was such a good deal on Doom Eternal. I didn't want somebody else to get it. And fortunately, it was still there today. Uh, yeah, so I, w I just I always look in this one cabinet because they sell PlayStation 5s, but they're always like stupid money like s To be fair, this store is not as bad as the one downstairs, but they have them for like seven or eight hundred dollars But they're used and like scratched up and I'm like No, I I shouldn't say this out loud But I, I would be willing to pay like eighty dollars or maybe even a hundred dollars on top of the regular price just to save myself the trouble of like constantly searching for one. Like I've, I don't even try really anymore. And I know that that's like, I'm against the principle of it and I might at the end not actually do it. Uh, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel bad about doing that. You know, it depends, right? Uh, definitely $50. I would be like, Pfft. but a hundred dollars. Yeah. But 150, no, I wouldn't like for whatever reason, that's kind of like where I draw the line because it's kind of like a finder's fee, right? If it's somebody, it's from a, like a, like a scalper, then no, somebody who's like doing it all the time. But then in this case, it's a brick and mortar store and I've gotten lots of great deals there in the past. I don't know. I'm justifying it. I just really want a PS5. Anywho, I don't need this. I didn't even necessarily want it, but it was regular price and it's new. So I bought it. Oh, but now that I have it, I've got all these great ideas for how I can use it. And it was regular price because the box is dinged up. These things are so well packed, like I could throw it across the room and still feel pretty confident. And the thing is, if it doesn't work, I just contact Microsoft and they're going to hook me up. I'm not concerned about it in the least. What I didn't realize is these things, they're all digital, but they only have 512 gigabytes. That's not good. But anywho, I bought one of these. Isn't it cute? I now have two current gen consoles and neither of them is a PlayStation 5. And I don't even like all digital, but man, Game Pass is so good. And uh, yeah, so I've got my Xbox Series X hooked up downstairs to my monster TV. And this one, I will either hook it up. It's going to be uh, in my game room. I have um, a rotating monitor that has 120 FPS, but doesn't have 4K, which is perfect for this. And then I have a nice 4K TV that's like 49 inches or something. And that's fine for this too. I'm not going to buy another Series X unless it's a Halo 1 and I get a really good deal. No, I hardly won't do that either. Like, you never know. I'm broken. I love new consoles. I get super excited about it. But anyway, I, uh, I could do an unboxing, but do you care? No. I'll do it anyway to reward you for staying tuned to this nonsense for so long. How does this even work? This is different than the other one. I don't want to rip the box. I don't understand. Oh, I know what's wrong. I don't have my glasses on because I'm old. All right, it's been cut. You probably didn't need to see all that. Maybe you won't, I don't know. I'll most likely forget to edit it out. Okay, so it opens like this. And I can't see anything. Ugh. Jump in. This is actually way less nicely packed than the Series X. The Series X was like, uh, it had foam all around the outside everywhere. And it was like really nicely protected. This just has, like, this is the budget console. <laughs> so it just has that. But it's so much smaller on my head. But it's so cute and adorable. And I should plug it into my portable monitor to see if it even works. But I'm not going to do that because that'll just make this video longer. We're just going to assume it does. 
I bought my original Xbox One didn't work properly out of the box, and I I contacted Microsoft and they replaced it. So I'm just not worried about it. But um, yeah, it's brand new, has the new controller and everything. Sweet. I'm so excited that I got it for regular price, and I they, also it's small, right? So this is totally portable, plus it's digital. So whatever games I put in the tiny 512 gigabyte uh, storage, I can take it with me and plug it into someone else's TV. And I actually may do that. I've already added to my shopping cart uh, on Amazon a carry case for this, but I don't know. But it's actually, gosh, it's actually really, really small. Seriously, look at that. That's awesome. I have books bigger than this. Wow. I, mean, I guess I could actually take it out of the little foamy stuff. Sorry. Uh, I just, I couldn't believe it when I saw it in the display. They And they sold it uh, for this price because the box was damaged. And that's how I got the deal I got on my Series X as well. Somebody got it and the box was damaged and they were like worried about it. And so I was like, dude, it's fine. Because I'm not... Like, I'm going to play these. I'm not worried about... They're not collector's editions or whatever, you know, with a nice box. It's just a regular one. And they're just going to keep making them, so... I mean, I still have the boxes, but that is so nice looking. Look how small it is. I'm really shocked how small this is. Like, you see pictures, but you just... And I've even seen it, you know, on display at stores. But, like, this is sleek and nice. I think someone... Somewhere I read this is the smallest Xbox yet. And it's, I think, in some ways not as powerful as the Xbox One X, but in other ways more because of the, or I shouldn't say powerful, but better because of the uh, the solid state uh, disc drive, drive, drive. Uh, anyway, I'm excited to use this. So it's not only all about 4K. So <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah, I have a problem. I'm aware of it. Thank you. But I don't buy anything else, so whatever. Bye. Okay, this is super duper bonus bonus footage. I almost forgot to show this. I don't know why I got it in my head that I was going to buy it. I was fine without having one of these for the longest time. And then one day I was like, man, I could totally go for the whole set of that. And that would just be really fun to have a full set of the games for a console. And so I, I started down that road, and I think at this moment I own them. I don't have them all in my physical possession, but uh, I kind of regret it. I'm not going to lie. Like, nah, not, not so much. But I mean, if you think about, it adds up to a few hundred dollars, but each game is 20 bucks, and the console is 100 bucks, eh, right? But, and I do like it, I do enjoy it, but there's... Oh, and I bought a case for it, too. It's the Evercade. I like the case. The case is, like, my favorite part. It's an after... Like, it's made by some other company. First of all, it's ugly. I'm sorry. That's ugly. But more important than that, and the most important thing, this screen is absolutely horrible. This is the worst... And I'm, I have over 100, probably. Not pro Definitely uh, portable devices. And a lot of them are, like, cheap junk. This is the worst screen and maybe I can actually show you. I don't know how well it'll show up on video. This screen is horrible. The resolution is okay, but the viewing angles are such that it's there almost isn't a sweet spot to, to have like the right contrast and the right colors. Do you know what I mean? So um, just whatever game. Something that has some variety at least. Oh, it's so ugly. Like this screen, I hate this screen. Dork and Imp. Like, nobody even knows what that is. Give me something that people have at least heard of. Jim Power. There we go. Okay. So I'll get into a game. And I've... Someone was saying that the D-pad is really cheaply made as well. And that's a big deal. But as far as usability, I haven't had too many issues with it. But yeah, just the title screen. Okay? Oh, sure. Yeah, do that. Why don't you suck? can't read it because I don't have my glasses on. Okay, so here's the game. Of course I had to have it because it has shoot 'em up 
uh, stages, right? So I have it for my end. It looks fine because I'm holding it straight on, right? But if you turn it just a little, that's what it looks like. And actually this particular game, maybe depending on the game, the screen is less bad, but I trust me, there are some games where it just looks bad from every angle and I can't see what I need to do necessarily, but it's, it's so bad. But I bought it and I'm gonna play it. You know what I mean? And I'm looking at this and I'm like, ooh, that looks like fun. But besides being ugly, having a cheap D-pad and having a horrible screen, I like it. So, I don't know. Here's the games that I have with me right now. I've got more on the way. A lot of them even haven't been opened because I don't have time. Like have two kids and have four jobs and also have time and tell me how you did that because I'd like to know the secret. This is how I do it. I don't sleep. So I'll be dead soon. Thank you for enjoying my channel while I was alive and after I'm dead too. I hope this doesn't turn out to be like eerily prophetic. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, I, I like it and yet I don't. It's, it's kind of a mixed bag. So uh, I would love it. If they would fix that screen, I would buy another one. So that, and, and the D-pad, make a nicer D-pad and make the screen nice. I would, I would pay $100 for another one and then have that as the spare. Maybe I take that one with me and I don't worry about it so much, but uh, I like the idea, you know? So anyway, I was excited about the idea of having kind of a new console to collect for. And I really went nuts in the last couple months, as you can see. So happy birthday to me. I don't know. But like I said, I sold a bunch of stuff, so I used that money to buy the stuff that you see here. So I guess I broke even, right? Because the stuff I sold, I don't need. Didn't need. Thank you. Bye. For realsies.